technical debt, sometimes referred to as tech debt or code debt, is the outcome of development teams rushing to complete a project or piece of functionality which then needs to be refactored. In other words, it's the outcome of putting a higher priority on timely delivery than flawless code. Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel of Jay Sparrow Start Programming. My name is Ben and in today's video we are going to talk about technical debt. The questions I want to answer in today's video are what is technical debt, who invented this phrase and where does technical debt come from and we will also talk about if it's always bad and in the end I will also show you an easy solution of how we can fix that issue. The term technical debt was first used by this software developer. He didn't know it at the time but he had created a brand new term for the software industry. Later, it would be the focus of a great deal of academic research, dialogues and panel discussions. As already mentioned, technical debt is the outcome of putting a higher priority on timely delivery than a flawless code. Ward Cunningham compared his term to the subject of money. He said, You can complete tasks faster when you borrow money, but you will have to pay interest up to the time you repay the loan. But technical debt doesn't always have to be bad or negative. If you're aware of your development glitches, it's still okay. But the danger starts, like in real life, if you don't pay back your debts but rather accumulate more and more. Then your software could get serious problems in the near future. So why is technical debt existing? The main reason why technical debt exists seems to be that programmers or product managers want to finish tasks in their program fast in a short amount without complying to existing rules. With that, you ignore the noble software process and then you break some rules with the intention to speed up development. For example, you use deprecated methods like ignoring or skipping standards. You cheat using constants instead of getting values from a file or database or you simply ignore company standards. You always have to keep in mind that you will have to remedy these issues later so you will have to pay back the debt and then some interests in addition. As a programmer you should keep track of such technical debt issues even if your program and project manager seems to neglect these facts since the software is running anyway. Be sure that you have to be aware and take care of the snowballing effect because if debt is accumulated and not paid back, coding parts cannot be reused but they need to be rewritten. Other coding parts get too old and thus useless as well, so you could end up in a very very big mess here. You should at least measure your technical debt and keep track of remediation costs because the worst thing is to be surprised while the software is being used. Now that we have answered the question of how technical debt arises, let us move on to the most practical question. What are the solutions to technical debt? There are a few solutions around and today I would like to introduce you to a Java tool which not only lets you control your technical debt but also can let you use refactor mechanisms for cutting down debt and removing code smell to keep your code perfectly clean. I want to introduce you to Jay Sparrow. Jay Sparrow does not only help you to assess your technical debt in all Java, Eclipse, IDE and Maven versions, but also offers you solutions to all sorts of problems with 114 refactoring mechanisms. Each of these refactoring mechanisms can be looked up in our documentation section on GitHub and since there are 114 refactoring rules to choose from, you can choose which or how many refactoring rules you want to apply to your project. We have used JSparrow to disassemble quite a few open source projects and the result has been both shocking and fascinating. With JSparrow you can save yourself a lot of time and money and no longer have to do nerve wracking work yourself. The result of using JSparrow can end in acceleration of your code performance, security, readability and many more other factors. If this sounds interesting, just look at the link in the video description and download the free version. With the free JSparrow version you can get access to 20 of our most liked refactoring rules for an unlimited time completely free of charge. If you have any specific questions about JSparrow or your program, feel free to send us a direct message. We are glad to answer it. In that sense, that's it with the video. If I could help you to understand what technical debt is, I would really appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. We are bringing a lot of programming related content regularly and if that's your thing, you should definitely subscribe. In that sense, I wish you a great day, have fun programming and see you in the next video. Goodbye.